Hello guys and happy July 1st. I am actually just now popping in here to start the vlog and it is 6.02 in the evening. I have been working all morning on different things for my blog and just like updating Facebook with like different videos and stuff and just cr basically creating content. So I have been very busy this morning doing all that and it's actually taken a lot longer than I expected it to. I haven't even gotten out of the clothes I slept in. I slept in this t-shirt and that's it and I have no pants on still. At 6.03 at night I still haven't put pants on all day but you know that is the joy of working from home. <laughs> so Trevor is at work with my parents. Um, he should be back a little bit later today. I'm not entirely sure when. With the 4-H fair going on and everything like that, since my sister has livestock down at the park, they kind of have to change their schedule because they have to take care of the pigs and everything like that. So my dad didn't ask Trevor to come in until like noon today so I'm not exactly sure what time he'll be getting home tonight because he might be like working late to he might even be like working till like 8 o'clock at night because then he can get his 8 hours for the day but I'm not entirely sure but that brings up an important topic that we have been wanting to discuss with you guys Trevor actually no longer works for Cerner and I don't want to talk too much about it because I'd really like for him to tell it since it's really his story to tell but as you guys know since we've moved back he's been working from home for Cerner that was always in a, a, like a limited agreement. It wasn't something that was going to be indefinite. They said for like six months after we moved back and then they would reevaluate it. Well, Trevor wasn't happy in his job as usual. I mean, we both haven't been happy at Cerner for a long time. I was able to leave and then he kind of did this transition period by working from home. And so he finally put in his resignation. The resignation date kind of changed around a little bit, but yeah. Now he's not working for Cerner anymore. He's working for my dad and I will have him talk a little bit more about that later. It's super exciting news and I do want him to tell you he's very, very happy now. But we'll talk about that when he comes back. But for now, even though it's six o'clock at night, I am actually gonna go put clothes on. <laughs> and then I'll do my hair. I think I'm gonna take Sky out for a walk because she didn't get a walk this morning. Sorry, the air conditioner is like super loud. There we go, that's a little better. After I get dressed, I'll take her for a walk and maybe call Trevor and see what time. Woo, blurry. There we go. Maybe call Trevor and see what time he's gonna be home and then see what we're gonna do for the rest of the evening because I have no idea. So it is 90 degrees out. I've put some new clothes on, put my hair in a ponytail because psh, who wants to wash their hair? <laughs> and now I decided I'm walking to my parents house it's not that far away it's like a mile so a nice little walk but it is hot and I'm taking sky see her right there and we're just gonna you know enjoy this walk listen to some music and get our exercise in also I don't really know why I feel like talking a million miles a minute right now but I've only had one cup of coffee today and I am like hyped maybe it's because I've been sitting on the couch all day <laughs> from Trevor and he doesn't know I'm on a walk with Sky. Well, I mean, he knows I'm on a walk with Sky, but he doesn't know I'm going over to my parents' house, which is where he is. And he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, on a walk with Sky. And he goes, oh, okay, well, I think we're gonna eat dinner here, so whenever you're done, just come over. Little does he know I'm like literally two minutes away. So I'm gonna come over and be all like winded because I've been walking pretty fast. And then he's gonna be like, oh, hello. And I'm gonna have Sky with me. So I'm excited to see like if he's shocked or what. Good girl. Good girl. As soon as we turn this corner, I bet she'll know where we are. She knows where we are when we're in the car. So, yeah. She she should know. She should recognize this drive. I think she just recognized it because she's like pulling away from me. <laughs> and she knows Bebe is like over here. Oh, and now my camera battery is flashing. So, I don't know how much fogging you'll get on this. Gosh darn it. Walked 
Sadly, the camera died before you really got to see much of Trevor, but he was surprised, my dad was surprised, and my mom was surprised. And we hung out there for a little bit. We took Skye out to go see the chickens and stuff, and we actually took her back home. I am in Trevor's truck right now. My mom and I went to the grocery store. She's inside there getting something. She forgot, she had to run back in. But we took Skye back because she's just too hot, and my parents don't use air conditioning the same way we do. They keep their house a lot warmer than we do at our house, so we just needed to get her back into some really good AC. But we're at the grocery store, like I said, grabbing things for dinner, and we're gonna cook and eat at their house. Don't drag okay. your feet so much, please. Yes, ma'am. You're like a four-year-old. Yes, yes, I am, <laughs> and I'll never change. So, we're walking out to the mailbox. The mailbox, just because we want to try to get our steps in. No, that's not why. I'm <laughs> oh, that's why I'm going. Today's the first, so rent is late after today for all the tenants that I manage. So I'm going to my parents' mailbox just to make sure that nobody put money in the mailbox because we have a couple that would be late. So. Don't pop some late fees, know what I'm saying? Yep. Just make double checking. Money. Just double checking. I don't want to give them a late fee if they put it in the mailbox or something and we didn't know about it. But. Yep, because that's what good managers do. But you should say hello to the vlog. They haven't seen you. Hello yet. to they the vlog. It. No. Well, I took stuff of chickens, but I don't know if it's going in the vlog or not. It will. We'll put it in right now. What? So anyway, those were the chickens. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. Actually, I've been working all day. That's yeah. why I haven't really been vlogging. Do you want to tell them more about your work like later today when we get home after my parents' house? Today sure. when we get to our, back to our house? Yeah, I could tell them more about it. Okay. It's a lot better than my old job. But we'll fill you in more about that later. Well, I think this might be rent. Let's check. And it starts to pull off the bone. That's good chicky. Good chicky. I have good pasta salad. Good chicky mm. and pasta salad. Num num num. <laughs> I'm gonna call this job like why I left Cerner. So, why did you leave? If you want to know why I left Cerner, go to daniellang.com and search for the word Cerner, and I'm sure you'll find my blog post. Or it's called like I quit my job or something like that. So, I don't need to talk about it on here again. You know, it's been like four months since I quit Cerner. I don't. I don't need to bring that back up. But you, you tell your story. So. Tell my story would take way too long of why I decided to quit my job and go in a different career path. When I got out of college, I had a degree basically in software engineering, software programming. And when I did my internship before I graduated, I did just that. I created software and made a program that the company still uses and it was a great experience. Then I started at Cerner straight out of college after I graduated. It was a very well paying job and not necessarily in exactly what I wanted to be doing, but to get my foot in the door to try to build my career from there and quickly learn that corporations do things a lot different. So my internship was with a smaller company where you kind of, you knew everyone, you worked with everyone, everyone kind of worked together, everyone was helpful, helped each other out. Everyone seemed to be there for the reason of getting the job done and doing a good job for the company. So after the internship, I really, really enjoyed doing, creating programs, creating software, that type of stuff. So I went to Cerner, very good benefits, stuff like that, and basically the dream job that everyone wishes they had going on to college. I'm working for Cerner. It's been about a month or two. 
kind of realized that in a big corporation you're often overlooked as in people don't really care what you do well but they look for what you do badly i don't think it's just working for center i think it's a big corporation type thing where people that do the same exact things as you or do things similar to you it's a competition it's about trying to get on top no matter how bad you make people look or how good you make yourself look so learn quickly that pretty much the only way to go up in a job like that is to basically work your butt off but throw everyone else under the bus as you do it basically make other people look bad whether that means making their job more difficult quickly learn that that was not the type of work i want to do i don't want to try to make other people look bad that doesn't do me any good it doesn't do the company any good i feel like you want to make each other better instead of trying to outdo everyone that just might be how corporations run i'm not sure but wasn't a huge fan of it so then a couple months go by and danielle shows up which is actually kind of how we met we met she was on my team i ended up doing her training and stuff like that so i taught her how to do um the job and then she ended up doing it better than me so there's that but anyways we dated did that type of thing we moved campuses which is another thing that kind of drove down why i like cerner because the campus that i was at was right next to where i lived and i picked to choose to live there in bonner springs as you can saw from our previous videos because it was close to cerner it was close to work then i signed a new lease and about two months after that they decided hey we're moving campuses in five months so that meant we had a drive for about six or seven months from bonner to the new campus which was on the missouri side and it took a little over an hour to get to work every morning and every night back so all that goes by and then we were at the new campus well it's actually an old campus but anyway we did all that we ended up working there until we decided to move back to indiana because at that point we felt like the jobs we had were not making us happy anymore we weren't just happy in general a lot of the vlogs that came out around then and even we talked about it a little bit touched on a little bit is that it just wasn't making us happy anymore and we got ourselves in a situation where we lived a certain lifestyle we had a certain house that we had to pay for and stuff like that yes we could find jobs in kansas city that we think we'd enjoy more but to take um the pay decrease to take the benefits decrease stuff like that it just wasn't worth it decided then that we wanted to be near family whether it be my family or danielle's family we decided that we needed to be near family because we want to start a family of our own and we don't want to do it in kansas city where 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 we are three hours away from my family and eight hours away from her family so we decided then to make the move we moved to indiana as you could tell, Danielle quit her job as Cerner, and my team kind of needed me at that point, so I was able to work from home, which was great because we still got the the great pay and we still got the benefits, which is you know great for both of us. We were already married at that point, so she was on all of my benefits and all that stuff, so everything was great. A few months go by, and I actually had a six-month kind of period with Cerner where I could work from home. Two months in, I just was not, I mean, I just had enough, you know. Um, I had enough when we were in Kansas City, but we needed the income to be able to support ourselves here until, you know, we could find other jobs. It was getting to the point where the money and the benefits just weren't enough, and it became a point where, you know, we thought about things that we normally didn't because I was basically just sick and tired of it and didn't want to do it anymore. It's a lot different working from home because if you're not there, everything is under a spotlight. So if you don't do this right or if you don't do that right, 
usually they come to your desk and say, hey, let's make sure we get this done. Well, then it turned into, hey, you didn't do this right. If you don't do it right again, you're not going to work from home anymore. So it became more of kind of like a threat and didn't like that because that's just not how you treat people. And I could do a three hour vlog about how don't feel like we were treated well at all working for the big corporation. Anyway, to get to the good stuff, since this vlog has been awesome, it's been fun, to get to the good stuff, I have I put in my resignation for Cerner, and since the day I put in my resignation, I have not been happier than that, because it's just, it was a complete weight lifted off my shoulder, even if I didn't know exactly what I was going to be doing after that, and I didn't, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, I just to have that off my shoulders, to have that not be a burden on me anymore, to have just know that I'm done with it. I don't have to deal with it anymore. I don't have to deal with the people. I could just be happy. A couple of weeks after, we spoke to Danielle's parents and they could use some help in their family business. So basically got a job for their family business and we are doing great now and I'm much happier, pretty much happy all the time and it's just a lot better job all around. Um, it just kind of proves to pay the... Okay. And like the second day at my new job, I learned kind of what everything's about and I love it. So I think it's gonna be a lot better for our family and future family when we start having kids. I think it's gonna be a lot better for us to be where we're at now and not have the big corporation bubble that we were stuck in for about three years because I think I worked there for more than three years and it just you never felt like anybody appreciated the time you're spending there and the first day of working in my new job I felt appreciated I felt like what I was doing was making a difference for even if it was for one person or two people I felt like I was making a difference so that's what I want to tell my story about. I won't go any deeper into the Cerner drama and that type of stuff. If you're close to me, close to us, you kind of know that whole thing. Um, Danielle even had a whole blog post about it. But what needs to be said is we are both very, very happy right now. Danielle is doing length videography, trying to go full-time doing that, doing weddings, doing family shoots, stuff like that. And she's loving it, so we're happy and you know life is great so you saw the chickens they're getting big i'm excited to go feed them and let them out tonight we let them back in their coop and close it up for the night and you know this summer is gonna be a lot of fun we're doing daily vlogs and we're gonna bring you a lot of good stuff along the way and we hope you guys like it you told your story told my story okay well, we'll go ahead and wrap up the vlog there. This guy wants to be part of the mm. wrap up as well. I think you does. guys can see. Of course she does. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have anything you want to say, please make sure you comment down below and subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook if you aren't already. Everything will be linked in the description. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Boop. Bye.